So I want to talk about also just kind of something I mentioned to a, a subscriber when they were asking me some questions. To me, there's only two ways Apple can go lower. And the reason I'm bringing this point up is because the stock is flat over the last, you know, 100 days, essentially. If you look at where it was in March, that's where it is now. It's just, you know, it's had its ups and downs, but on a net return basis, it's flat since March. So I'm somebody that's been waiting for this kind of 350 trade to show up and, and really become what happens. But personally, I'm, I'm getting tired of waiting on the 300s. And I feel like the time is now where if it's going to make that move lower into the 300s, it has to be off of this report. That's why, in my opinion, for the Bears, you know, they need Apple to do one of two things. One, Apple needs to gap down and go down. Why do I bring that point up? Well, this is your advantage right here. I've got a screenshot from Apple's earnings in April. Gap down below 400, but then look at the rip. Held the initial three minute low, held the six minute low, broke above it, you know, broke above the three minute, six minute highs, and just ripped higher. Couldn't sustain the move lower off of that gap down. So that is why, in my opinion, if this move also results in a gap down tomorrow, Apple needs to go down. I've got that three minute chart up on my screen for those of you who want to see what it looked like the last time Apple reported earnings. Volume was very, very high, 1.4 million shares, 1.2 million shares next candle, 1.4. So I want to make note of that as well. So Apple needs to gap down and go down. Holding the initial three minute, <clears throat> three minute, six minute low isn't going to cut it. Last earnings. Apple gap down and reversal. Six minute high broke initial three minute high. Nine minute high broke six minute high. Volume 1.4 mil, 1.2 mil, 1.4 mil. First few candles on that three minute chart. You can see that again here. So that's number one. Number two, Apple needs to gap up and go red. Those are the one or two things that I believe the Apple bears need to happen. Gap down and drop, break the first lows, or Gap up and go red. Not gap up and go below the open. Not gap up, break the three minute low, six minute low. You know, even those though even though those would be good for, you know, maybe a near term trade. But I'm talking for that bearish three hundred trade, that three fifty target coming into play. This thing needs to gap up and go red, or you know, gap down and go down, not hold the low like we saw it do on April 24th. And I should add to that, Apple needs to gap up and go red, you know, dramatically so. It needs to go red dramatically so. Can't, can't go red by a few ticks. Can't go red by, you know, 0.5%. Needs a solid green to red by at least 2%. 